Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Tricky Acid and a ton of info for Cyberpunk 2077 dropped straight from the CD Projekt Red developers thanks to the interview at GameSpot and IGN, which I've squeezed into 8 minutes. So here are 35 things that you need to know. Number 1. Cyberpunk 2077 will be played in first person, but you will switch to third person during cutscenes. Number 2. The main protagonist is called V, and you can choose to be either male or female. And there will be a full-on character customization system, so you can make your character look like however you want, because there will be various body types, face types, hairstyles, tattoos, the list goes on and on. V will also have a voice. CD Projekt have said it's similar to how Geralt was, V will have a personality and speak throughout the game, and Cyberpunk 2077 will be very character driven, it's pretty much how CD Projekt likes their stories to be told. So we're in for an awesome character, just like Geralt was, and just like Commander Shepard was in the Mass Effect series. Number 5, and just like the Mass Effect games, you can choose your background story, so this defines the life you chose and how it will alter things throughout the game. Perhaps by unlocking unique dialogue options, or you might even meet an old friend from the past. Number 6, there will be 3 main categories for weapons. First of all, there will be power weapons, which will be like traditional weapons, which may have exaggerated hit reactions or stagger when you shoot an enemy. Tech weapons, which are designed to penetrate through walls or other obstacles. And smart weapons, which are designed to track and follow targets around the game. Number 7. The stats you pick up at the start of the game are Strength, Constitution, Intelligence, Reflexes, Tech, and Cool. I find the last one hilarious, but it's all based off the stats in the Cyberpunk tabletop game. Number 8. There will be no classes for you to choose at the beginning of the game. Instead, it does similar to what Skyrim does to craft your character the way you wish. The three classes are Techie, Netrunner, and Solo. And you could essentially have a hybrid of all three classes, or one more than the other depending on how you play. Number 9. You also get your own apartment, and in there all your clothing items and weapons will be stored, however you don't need to head back to swap out different clothes or change your weaponry. And if you don't like your current home, that's okay, because you will be able to get more different apartments throughout the game, meaning it could have a property system like GTA Online ad where you can purchase a new property or you might end up getting new places as you progress in the story. You can also drive cars in the game, but you can toggle between first and third person while driving and you can engage in combat whilst in the car as it will get driven by an AI instead when you lean out of the window to shoot enemies. Number 13. Cyberpunk 2077 will have full frontal nudity, and you can have one night stand, so yes, there is sex in the game, making this game a very mature title, just the way we like it. Number 14, you can engage with random people in the game, so it's not just about completing missions, but it's also about interacting with the NPCs on the streets or in clubs or wherever you're exploring, and this is encouraged. And this takes me to number 15, because by talking to NPCs, it will open up new secondary missions, and just like in The Witcher, you will get dialogue options. Street cred is another big factor, which allows you to access other areas in the city. For example, if you wear a specific jacket, your street cred will increase by 5%, allowing you to access new areas or enter a club or something. And to level up street cred, you need to complete missions. Clothing items, I guess, just give you added bonuses. Number 18, there will be 6 different districts throughout the city, meaning when you're driving around, you will see and feel the diversity throughout the 6 areas in the city. More on this, the areas in the city will be very different. So one place could be a very rich corporate zone, while another area is like the slums, so very dirty and dangerous, and is run by gangs. So there's an idea of how diverse these regions will be. Number 20, the UI is extremely minimal but expands or changes when you either engage in combat or are driving. When you are driving though, the UI will be displayed as a digital interface in the car instead. I assume it will be displayed on the windscreen like most posh cars have these days. Number 22. Enemies will show levels, but some show question marks, meaning they are probably either too tough for you to take on at that current time. 
Also, when you shoot or inflict pain to an enemy, damage numbers will pop up during combat. Number 24, you can go in like max pain because there is a bullet time ability allowing you to slow down time. And to recover health, V will use an inhaler to heal. Number 26, this is an RPG and your decisions will have consequences, not just on a small scale, but also will affect the world as a whole. So you will be involved in some major decisions. Another nice feature is that if you need to get through a door, but your hacking skill is too low, but let's say your engineering skill is high enough, you can break off a panel for example and use your engineering skills instead, meaning there will be several ways to bypass obstacles by using different skills that you've catered your character towards. Number 28. The gunplay will not be as fast paced as Doom, but will be faster than Fallout 4's. And number 29. You will be able to take cover, go under cars, and probably a bunch more in terms of engagement with the environment to aid you in combat or stealth. And for number 30, the game has something called Mega Buildings, which contains micro societies of vendors, gunsmiths, missions, and tons of lore for you to discover. Number 31, the story itself will be a dark fantasy. CD Projekt do great with storytelling of a dark atmosphere, and that's the vibe I think everyone has always wanted when it comes to a cyberpunk theme. There will also be an inspection system that allows you to zoom in super close and analyze items to learn more about the lore in the game. Speaking of lore, since this game is based off the Cyberpunk 2020 tabletop game, there will be characters from that board game that will make an appearance in Cyberpunk 2077. Number 34. More on the leveling side, XP will be split into two parts. Main core missions give you standard XP, and referring back to number 17, side missions will give you street cred XP. And finally, number 35, some of the late abilities will include wall running and augments that give you mantis-like blade arms, which sounds super awesome. And that is 35 new things that we have learned about Cyberpunk 2077, all under 10 minutes. <laughs> It's another game I'd love to cover on this channel, so make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on the latest news. If you enjoyed the video, give a like and let me know what you think of Cyberpunk 2077 in the comments. And are you hyped for it? Because I am. And with that said, I will catch you all next time.